welcome back you guys with Jason. I think I should do the talking. You sound that apple kind of got in your throat. <clears> throat. I'll try and explain what we're doing here and if I can't talk anymore then um, I'll have him take over. We'll let the backup singer do it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I, well first of all I was eating an apple and the peel part of it got lodged in my throat for like a couple minutes and I think I coughed it up. I was able to kind of hack it up, but I think it actually kind of scratched my throat because um, <clears throat> it hurts when I try and talk. And so I'm going to try and do this, but I might have him take over. Um, it is our 18th wedding anniversary. Wow. I should have challenged him to guess what year. I know what year it is. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Um, <clears throat> so we are celebrating our anniversary. It is actually today. It's not, I mean, usually we're down in Utah when we celebrate our anniversary. Um, so it's kind of, actually, or it's in the middle of the week or something like that. Yeah, so it's kind of fun to just be back here and kind of do our own thing. We're just going to go get dinner and play it by ear. I am not wanting to be around my kids tonight, so it's perfect to be um, able to go out tonight. They were good for the most part. Chelsea spent the day at a little festival, and so she was super happy to come home and tired and ready to just be at home so that's good and abby's gonna do great babysitting him tonight and kaylee is going to her friend's house so um i'm just looking forward to being away from the house um i was just kind of a hermit today we kind of stayed at home i did get a few things to redo our bathroom just the organization of our bathroom at marshall's we ran up there to get some things for the girls for back to school and so watch for that video. So we're just gonna go to dinner and enjoy our time tonight and then I don't know what we'll do after. We'll so, see how where life takes us. Yeah. We just thought I would bring you along today. We didn't do anything else exciting today, that's why I didn't really want to turn on the camera. Worked. He worked and I hung out with the kids and so it'll be more car chats and looking at our food and if we do anything fun we'll let you in on it. But we're gonna go out again more to celebrate our anniversary and celebrate me getting braces off when i get my braces off because i want to go for a really good um expensive steak sorry that sun um i want to go to daniel's broiler and it's down in the city and it is up on like the i don't even know 13th floor or something like that and you, if you can get a window seat you have a view of the whole city and down into the water and over to seattle and it's just a really nice night and so i kind of want to do that again we did it two and a half almost three years ago when I before I got my braces on so we're wanting to do that again so we're just gonna go out have a simple dinner tonight to celebrate um, so anyway anything you want to add Jace? thanks for watching <laughs> I thought maybe he would add like oh I love being married oh. to, my, to my wife for 18 years oh, it's been 18 glorious years did you tell him what I did special for oh, you? How I, about you turn the camera on me I can drive and say it Okay, you can tell them. So last night, I pretended to go out and get gas in the car, which I did do, actually, so I didn't pretend that. And then I got flowers, yeah. and I snuck them in the house, and I stashed them away. And then uh, Dana threw out all the vases, so... I didn't throw them out. You got rid of them with the like, no. last cleansing. You did. Okay, I'm going to explain that in just so a minute. So I then, this morning, cut the stem things. I shoved them in a little glass picture and made a beautiful little card to say I love you and uh, I'm excited for 18 more years yes he did that so to, to be <laughs> fair for myself I have like one little patch of shade over my eyes um, to be fair I did throw out a lot of my vases because I don't tend to like vases anymore I like jars and pictures and that kind of thing so he's right but he put the flowers in a picture he, he put them actually in the picture that we actually used for water but I have other pictures that aren't for water so I'll, I'll have to clarify that with him when we get home but <laughs> I do want to remind him that years and years and years ago in one of the moves that we did I don't know what house or townhouse or apartment or whatever I had two or three boxes of just vases 
wasn't that long ago, man. It was this house, and you threw out a bunch of bases, like, just like a year. Okay, so I want to, I want to clarify okay. this. No, okay. no, it's not. I don't care anymore. Because he was so mad that I kept packing in these bases no. and moving them from house to house. So no. he asked me to, like, make a decision on one of whether I wanted to keep them or not. So I got rid of all of them and decided I'm not doing vases anymore. They won't fit in a cupboard, so we're just not gonna do it anymore. And it wasn't my style. I specifically asked you if you would wanted to keep one or two, not get rid of all of them. But I didn't want to keep them. I didn't want to keep just one or two because I didn't like them. Well, so for him to that say that it's my fault we don't have, fault. yes you did, it's not my fault. rewind. You're the one that's- uh, I'm gonna put a rewind in here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go back and see. So I didn't say it's your fault, I just said Dana threw out the pictures. But that is saying it's my fault that no. we don't have a vase. <laughs> it's not my fault. You tell me, you guys. Yeah, in the comments below, tell how ridiculous Dana's being. No, I'm not. Okay, we're gonna go eat dinner and discuss this no more. Years of love. I know, this is how it is, guys. <laughs> Jason wants to make fun of me. No, no, it's so cute because she, you gotta hold it up so I'm on here. So she got her fortune and on the back it says, the last, the, the best, best way. way to start your meal at P.F. Chang's is eat dumplings. So when I asked her her fortune, she goes, oh yeah, I told me to eat dumplings. <laughs> so I laughed because you have to turn it around and read your fortune. So she thought her fortune was that she got to eat dumplings at P.F. Chang's. <laughs> that's what it was. Anyways, you gotta flip it over, huh? Anyways. Well, okay, read my, read my, um. Your fortune? Yeah. So her real fortune is you, your curiosity will lead you to the answer you seek. Which Clearly is I wasn't curious wasn't enough. Curious enough so. <laughs> to read the other side. Very fitting. Yeah. We're gonna walk around downtown. This is Bellevue. Bellevue. Yeah. All right, so we went into the container store. Do you want to show them what I got? Oh, she got a container. <laughs> he didn't fully see the purpose. Remember how my tray where I put my soap containers on? It rusted out, and I went to Marshall's to look for one of those, and I just didn't find anything I liked. And I really like the color on that one, so he doesn't quite get it's it. It's a good color. It's a good color. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what we're doing next, but we don't want to go home because... Wait, we got to go down this way. Oh, we're down there. There's no guarantee that um, the kids are asleep yet. And that's my number one rule when we go out, <laughs> is that I don't go home unless I know that there's at least half the kids asleep. Obviously, we don't want Abby asleep quite yet because she's babysitting, but I don't want to go home before the other two are asleep. Take one guess where we're at. trying to pick an ice cream and they don't have what kind don't they have I'm looking for a good lemon lemon sorbet or something they have orange sorbet and they have rainbow sorbet but they don't they have, have sherbet oh sherbet it's different <laughs> so we're having problems with our kids at home so, so we, gotta hurry. we gotta go home all four of them are awake it's 9 30 but I'm not getting ice cream because my ice cream gets shared with them and I'm not going to share with anyone tonight. So I'm not going to get any. Anyway, I love that these ice creams, they're $2.99 if you buy five. Like who in their mind buys five of these ice creams? Like, you don't, I don't know, I don't get it. I told Jason I was going to turn the camera on because he, certain conversations that he has when we're in the car, are deeming him an old man status. No, it's called the observational. Uh, yeah, but they get old. Maybe that's just it. They're just old conversations. Like, they need to be more efficient with these lighting cycles. <laughs> I think I have a technology. <laughs> I think I have a way of actually making light 
intersections more efficient, it would just require some technology that I think I know. is already out there. Okay, anyway, it's just, but it's like at every light or at every time we go by certain sections of town, we have the exact same conversation. No, BS, BS. <laughs> Maybe you just need to be more conversationally interesting, huh? I'm gonna end the video <laughs> because I guarantee you with the way our kid situation is going at home, it is not gonna be a pretty sight. This is this might be a boring vlog. I don't know. Well, happy anniversary, hon. I love you. Yep. Happy Sometimes the simple things are what make our marriage work. Yeah. And just being able to get out and go for dinner and walk around town and shop. We actually went over to TJ Maxx because I ended up forgetting the mascara that I went to Marshall's for this morning. So I got my $3 mascara. You can hardly see us, but um, it's simple things. Oh, that, oh, I don't need to see that. So you should uh, hug your loved ones, enjoy the simple things. Yep. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Take care, you guys. Uh, take our comment about your anniversary and what makes your anniversary special. Yeah. We love that. That'd be cool. Yeah, I want to do something big for our 20 year anniversary in two years. So I'm thinking two years in advance. So, but I don't want, as much as I love the flowers today, I don't want to spend the money on flowers next year or the year before. And I will document this because I want to save up and go somewhere for our 20 year anniversary. I don't have high expectations of going places for our anniversaries, but I think big anniversaries are important to celebrate, like 10, 20, 30, 50. My parents are celebrating their 50 year anniversary. And like, I think it's next week is their anniversary. And I think it's important to celebrate that. I think you've made it 50 years, good and bad. You should celebrate and go and do something and you know, kind of celebrate it, so. Hit up the Sizzler Buffet or something. Well, they will do that. That's the sad <laughs> thing. They need to do something more than that. But anyway. Get there before six. <laughs> we already do that, honey. Oh, no, shush. We didn't get there until like. <laughs> no, we got to PF Chang's like eight. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah, it was more like But it seven. definitely wasn't like five. So. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, take care, have a good night, and we'll see you next time. I thought I'd end showing you Jason's flowers that he gave me and the jar <laughs> that he put them in. This is actually the only one that I use for water, so <laughs> that's okay because the flowers are really, really pretty. So take care, guys. Good night.